Hi, I'm Tom Ungrote, and welcome to the Gift and Home channel. I'm the president and CEO of Ideation, and we also have three retail stores in the state of Michigan. I'm pleased to be here today to talk to you in this particular segment about promoting your store. First and foremost, did you understand that 25% of your customers uh, do not come back to your store every year? How more important is it then to get your name out, get your people well trained to understand that uh, your store is the place to go for gifts? We in uh, our retail stores are constantly promoting and constantly training the staff and we are constantly sending things out to people to make sure that we remind them that we're the place to go. We have loyalty and I'll get into that a little bit later. There's some other segments in the Gift and Home channel that mention loyalty but I'll, uh, I'll bump onto that a little bit later. Uh, branding is also a very, very important thing. You've been in a market a year, two years, five years, ten years. I think you've got to understand that uh, by putting your logo out in front of people, they will uh, get to know you, they will understand exactly what brands you carry and who you are. I'm real big in our particular operation about training the employees. Your staff is critical to making this whole thing work. Your store is your promotion, your windows are your promotion, and, uh, but your staff, there's nothing like it. You've got to have them trained, you've got to have them understand your merchandise, good product knowledge, and uh, they, will, uh, they will certainly promote your store in and out of your store. If you treat your customers right, as statistics say, you will go out and you will, uh, one good customer will tell ten others. It's just the opposite, too. If you have a bad experience in your store, they're going to tell 10 other people that they don't want to shop that store. So I firmly believe that if you want to call it referrals from your uh, employee base, that uh, this is a key ingredient to, uh, to your store and the success of your store. Another way to promote your store is uh, through vendors. Vendors and uh, demos and sales reps. And what I mean is you invite them into your store Again, to educate your employees, take time, share it with your customers. People love events and activities uh, in, your, in your store. And we do that uh, probably once a month on a very minor scale. It's not going to cost you a lot to do it, but it is really, really important that you get uh, your vendors and reps involved in your organization. It also makes your employees feel like they're really part of the program and uh, they really enjoy it. Giveaways. Everybody likes a giveaway. Everybody likes to have something in their hands when they leave. You hope, of course, they're filling their bag full of your goodies in your store and leaving, but if you've got a moment, look around your store for things that might be slow movers, inexpensive items that, uh, that you think would work as a potential giveaway. And uh, you slide it into the bag. You, you, as the person's exiting, you tell them that, uh, here, thank you for coming in. Really appreciate it. Uh, personal notes. Another way to promote your store, a personal note, uh, maybe after you, they spend $50 in your store, you, uh, you send out a little uh, note signed by the manager or the employee. These are all ways that I think are, uh, are great ways to promote your store, and I truly look forward to, uh, to uh, moving into other parts of this as I get through other segments. And again, there are other things on the Gift and Home channel that will help you in this direction, but don't stop promoting. Never stop promoting your store. Otherwise, you will, uh, you will not grow your business, and uh, I, uh, so I highly recommend you do that. Thanks for the time. Appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch up with you on the next segment.